essentially you're saying that it's immoral for a man or wrong for a man to a get into a relationship with a woman that already has a kid or b you can even extrapolate it out to say it's wrong for people to even adopt children I'm saying it's right or it's wrong i'm saying it's the, the end result is functionally the same so it well, no, just, saying it's cuckoldry because, is saying it's wrong because, okay, nobody so, okay. wants to be a cuck i'm even saying that you are effectively taking over the same responsibilities that a cuck would you're presuming that i'm making a moral call based you on are. Just revealing <laughs> that thing it's the mock thing once so you day. think so if so if someone called you a cuck you'd be like yeah that's fine I'm, I'm, you're fine with being a cuck i'm just talking about this idea that 100 percent of women want the alpha fucks beta bucks reproductive strategy like people even people in the chat are dropping statistics about how many paternity tests come back of some other guy so that like obviously they're using some form of evidence to make the argument that no you are correct you know 100 percent of women do this strategy and what what's the statistic they were dropping in the chat like 30 to 40 percent of women the child is not does not really even belong to the father and the father doesn't know that is tough for me to buy what about 42 percent of children being born out of wedlock well, no, that's a different situation because no, it's, it's, it's based on relationships, because, though, because, because the expectation you know. is that they're going to find the, the dad who stepped up. No, I and I, I, I but this moment. is a voluntary situation, though, obviously. And and I would like that is an example of perhaps the um, this dual mating strategy. But what's I the, think if we looked closer the, at the evidence, we would think, you know, what happened was they got in a relationship and then there was some discrepancy in mate value and someone wanted out of the relationship. So that's a possibility. The other possibility is this, is that women have sex with other guys, have their babies and then have other men marry them later. It's yeah, but that's a voluntary rich, thing. The guy is not literally rich, not a cuck rich. because he's volunteering to be look, a cuck situation is where you don't know you're raising another guy's kid. Is it? Well, I mean, or is the, or well, is the, the let, me try, let me explain. So, is is it that is the definition of cuckoldry a man taking care of and investing parentally, provisionally, and protection wise? Is is it his responsibility to take that uh, uh, the child of another man, the offspring of another man, and raise it as his own? Is that you think it's, the definition of cuckoldry? Well, if it's under nefarious circumstances where he doesn't know, it is. So, you, so, yes. you're, so again, we're, we're, you're applying uh, the, functionally. It's the same thing. Whether well, no, you, 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 I know. I understand. Has, you could say a stepdad is a cuck. Like, sure. But I don't. Wait, wait, wait. It's wait. It's no, wait, 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 wait. Definitionally, cuck has it. always meant that it's an unknown thing. True. From yes. the beginning. So, okay. you, I mean, but you can re want to redefine it, but right, that's what so it always meant. Right, so we're going to talk about, okay, so semantics aside. It's, well, it's, wait, wait, wait. It's not semantics. It because is semantics. When you, because wait, whoa, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Bup, 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 bup. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. It's not semantics. It is not semantics. Because by saying someone is a cuck, it's, we all know what that means. There's an obvious moral claim embedded in that term. Nobody wants to be a cuck. So to attribute that, to someone who gets into a relationship, say, with someone that already has a child and say that they are a cuck, you're attributing a moral claim to that action. Well, and a lot of times they just have kids is with other parents, too. The so they're like, is uh, the outcome the same? No, it could be d entirely different because you can get in a relationship with a woman who you know has a child and you mm -hmm. agree, you're like, okay, and you can have children of your own with them or you could be fine raising mm -hmm. the child. It's very different than well, I'm with a woman, she's raising a bunch of children that aren't my own. You have no idea. Maybe you don't even have your own children at that point. Are you responsible for that man's children? Uh, are you, are you, you, are if, you, if you take the responsibility the as your own, yeah. Are the resources that you will be directing towards your own children mm -hmm. being compromised by another man's child who you you, you are now taking responsibility well, for? Well, if Is you view it as compromised, you're sharing your resources with someone that doesn't share your DNA, sure. Okay. Is that not the definition of being cuckolded? I mean, I share my resources. No, it's not. With Sitch it's literally not the definition. The same outcome as, as being cuckolded. What is the difference between rape and sex? Consent. Consent. Yeah. Are, are they the same action? Of course not. Okay, but the same outcome is there. You can get pregnant from being raped, and you can be pregnant from getting sex. Yeah, but it's not. There's you no can, but that doesn't mean it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing in this in the respect that you still have to direct your protection, your resources, your provisioning, everything else to a to another man's child. 
That's okay. paternity. Look a lot. Like, so, so here's the thing. So why is it that men are so, what, why do we have mate guarding instincts? Why do we have jealousy? Why do we have, why do men fixate on the act of sex itself? So when a woman is, has, it, it cheats on her husband, his number one priority is where'd you fuck? Was it in the kitchen? Did, was he have a bigger dick? Where did it go? Did he get off? What was it? It's all this visceral wants to know, like the details of the sex. Whereas when are more concerned. Yeah. Because it's paternity. That is the number one priority that men need to ascertain. Is the kid my kid? That's why when we talk another red pill thing is one of the reasons why guys talk about women's notch count in a different term and in different contexts than they do for their own is because men want to know that a woman is a good bet for his long term paternity. They want to know that the child is his. That's why effectively, functionally, whether that woman has kids with someone else and he voluntarily signs up to be a cuckold or he gets cuckold proactively, the effect is the same. He is taking care. He's find some, found some way to sublimate his, whether through deception or through his own acceptance, he's found a way to sublimate his jealousy and his mate guarding instinct for the fact that he, maybe he's going to have a kid with her later or something. But what he's done is he's taking over the response, the parental investment responsibilities of another man. Right. That's so difference. But, that's right. that in, in my book, that is cuckoldry. That the, okay. the, 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 the end result is the same. So, so putting aside that obviously, you know, uh, a person, a parent, or an adult can form a you know a relationship, a loving relationship with a child that's not their own. Mm -hmm. Whether there's a step parent or they have adopted a child, or I'm something sure they like love that. it. Yeah, you know, extent putting all that aside, right? When you're talking about like getting in a relationship with someone that already has children, uh, which you know for a lot of people is definitely a factor. It could be a deal breaker. It could be something that influences the relationship because it's that's, a male. You know, it's, it's a significant. A male, it's a male adaptive strategy for. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Well, it's, it's just it's a significant practice. factor in relationship, right? But but a man say because we're talking about kind of men in this situation, mm -hmm. a man could very easily find a woman who is you know for him the perfect woman in terms of looks and personality, and mm -hmm. she already has a child, and he could say, well, you know, I'm making the calculation that this is going to bring me, or at least I believe it's going to bring me you know, more long-term happiness or contentment or whatever we want to call it, satisfaction with my life, even though that this person has a child that's not my own. And that, I mean, that's just a calculation you make. And you don't have that calculation. If someone's doing this behind your back, none of that's weighing into any of this stuff. So mm -hmm. to me, to just call it cuckoldry is essentially you are saying that it's immoral for a man or wrong for a man to, A, get into a relationship with a woman mm -hmm. that already has a kid, or B, you can even extrapolate it out to say it's wrong for people to even adopt children. Well, I'm saying it's point. right or it's wrong. I'm saying it's the the end result is functionally the same. So it well, just, no, saying it's cuckoldry is saying it's wrong. You, okay, nobody so, okay. wants to be a cuck. Think of think of, like try to dissociate your your understanding of cuckoldry as a bad thing or a good thing. It is. That's a, impo it's literally it's impossible. It's literally impossible. All right, then then let's just say. Well, we, we don't call stepdads cucks, though. Okay. We call them stepdads so because it's like. There's no moral component to being Cuckoldry a Cuckoldry by definition the is a negative thing. The very fact that you want to make that distinction is a moral judgment. The very fact that you want to say, well, they're stepdads, so they're better than being called a cuck. See what yes. it is? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a moral claim, yeah. Okay. So, but what's the difference in the end result of the cuck or the stepdad? I already explained <laughs> Explained it. The well, you're, you're looking at it from like this so, this moral perspective of like the heel. Well, you're looking at it from like a weird. You're looking from a consequential perspective. Do you which think I don't buy into doing the same thing? Do Do you hold on? If you're in a situation where certain aspects of the situation are hidden from you, you can't do any sort of realistic cost benefit analysis. Mm -hmm. So the cuck is in a situation where he can't do that cost benefit well, analysis. Mm -hmm. Wait. No, that's the, the person, the person that is dating a woman knows that she has a kid. Understand, like understands, she knows the father of the child, or he knows the father of the child. Like he can do that cost benefit analysis mm -hmm. and come to whatever conclusion he wants. That's the difference. Yes, but effectively he's doing the same thing. Well, no, you yeah, the, 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 when you wait, bring wait, in wait, Cuck, wait, wait. you're basically saying he's coming to the wrong conclusion because it's a conclusion that you disagree with. I don't necessarily. I didn't say I agreed or disagreed with it. I'm just pointing out the fact that the cuckold and the stepfather are doing the same thing. Okay, but by you, so when you Framing, say they're doing the yeah. same, no, when when you say they're doing the same thing, what you're what you're saying is you're kind of taking this end game biological consequentialist approach. Mm -hmm. You're saying, well, from a purely strictly biological perspective, you know, from an evolutionary perspective, a man is raising another man's child, so it's the same action, right? Where you're putting 
your focus on how to determine an action is a moral claim that you're making when you do it. So you can't say that you're just making a descriptive claim because you're not. You're making a moral prescription by the, what you're how you're framing this. Making a descriptive say that's the thing is you can't open your mouth without somebody telling you have to how to feel about it. Okay, what I'm saying is that functionally speaking, it's the same thing. It's the same outcome. No, but you, that, do you understand what I do? You understand what I'm saying? That you're by focusing on what aspect of this complicated situation is going to be the end goal here for to describe the action. That's a moral claim. Again, I can't I can't open my mouth and describe the situation without it coming off as a moral. It's not no, it's not coming off. You're doing it. It's <laughs> that's what you're doing. In what way? By saying that a cuckold is by, by saying that the cuckold and a stepdad are effectively the same thing. By def okay, so I'll go back to the sex rape example. We do not classify rape and sex as the same thing, mm -hmm. even though they can have the same outcome. Mm -hmm. right? right? Okay. So obviously we're saying, well, so the that's way a, that we're going to categorize that's a moral that's a moral call right there exactly exactly it's a moral I call right that. i can also say this okay uh during wartime there are more incidents of rape during wartime than there are when we're not at war okay why is that well functionally speaking men need to solve their reproductive problem before they get shot because tomorrow's not a guarantee when the bullets start flying so is it a is it a phenomenon amongst human beings that Rape increases during times when men's existence, or the, the, whether or not they're going to take a bullet the next day, increases because they are either immoral or are they trying to solve a reproductive problem before they get killed? Well, I'm, first of all, I'm, this, this is kind of irrelevant to what I'm talking about, but I would, no, it's, it I would think because, that that, because that, we're that making, action. We're making it, what I'm doing is I'm observing a phenomenon. I, I don't think it's a process. Yeah, I, I don't think it's the well. I don't think it's the fear of death is making like oh I have to reproduce before I die. I think it's more just that when you're in that hyper adrenalized aggressive state of mind, you're going to be more likely to commit you know an action. And right? it's time of war. There's no consequences. I mean, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of factors that go into that. I don't think you can narrow it down. Why don't we? More. Then why don't we go eat spaghetti instead? Why don't we go uh, do do other acts instead of that? Well, well I I would bet you that if I would bet you that rape is the is the default and not going and doing something completely different. Well no, but wait a minute. I would bet you if you study men in war who are worried that they're going to die, they engage in an entire host oh, of wow. actions that are unhealthier and and less safe and less moral than they Smoking, would engage in normal. Drinking, drugs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Cuz you kind of have this live fast die young attitude when you're in that nice. situation. <laughs> so yeah, no. Do but, all the cocaine my, tonight. Right. We may be dead but, tomorrow. But my point, no, but going back to what I was saying, like we can talk about, like someone could say, oh, I'm an evolutionary biologist. They can talk about evolution mm -hmm. on a descriptive level and not put any moral prescriptions to the process of evolution. But if that person started to describe, say, say that they were like talking about human relationships and they started saying like, oh, these people are unfit. These people are producing unfit children. And they kept saying that. And you're like, well, wait a minute. You keep calling their children unfit. You're really, you're, should we be engaged in eugenics? And they say, well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I just mean unfit in like an evolutionary, biological, descriptive sense. Like, well, no, that's not what's happening. By using that language and saying it, they are making moral claims based off of something biological. And you know kids, if they hear you say there's it, like a stepdad and a cuck are indistinguishable from one another, they're going to think, I don't want to be a stepdad. Of like course. that's going to go into the the cost benefit analysis and okay. that's it's just sad so, if they could actually so have just, like let's a, take the, let's take the moral judgment out of the whole thing here okay so if we go and say don't worry you're not a stepdad you're the dad who stepped up you're you're solving your reproductive problem because you got with a good single mom and you decided to take over the um the parental investment responsibilities of another man's child and therefore you are a better individual for doing that rather than the guy who doesn't do that, or, or the deadbeat dad who we presume left mom and you had to come in and step up and take over his responsibilities because he's the son of a bitch and you are the noble guy who, who swept in and took over the responsibility because that's the right thing to do. I don't, I don't think you need to lionize him. I just don't think you need to demonize See, that's, him that's either. That's exactly what we, that's exactly Wait, what no, we do. I, I understand, but why, look, look we're right. talking about not making it a moral judgment. Like we shouldn't lionize or right. demonize. Right. So whether or not that guy is a knight in shining armor or he's not, the effect is the same. It is a guy who is taking on 
the parental investment responsibilities of another man, whether he's a noble knight on shining armor or he's just an average Joe who has a regular day job. He's still doing the same thing. And then I should also add this is that if a guy is doing that, and let's just say for sake of argument, he gets with a single mom who has two or three kids. She doesn't want to have any more kids. And he he's like, OK, well, I guess I'm taking care of these kids. I'm now their stepdad. And that's good enough for me. He's actually participating in his own extinction because right. now he's going to take over the responsibilities of another man or maybe even two men's child children at the expense of him reproducing with another woman. Do, do you understand my sex rape argument? I do understand your sex rape okay. argument. I also understand that the well, wait, wait, what what is it? Because I'm not sure you do. It's it's a moral it's a moral judgment card. It's a moral imperative right there. Yes, is it wrong to rape? Yes, absolutely. No, wrong. no, 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 no. I'm saying, okay, you're saying in relation to the cuck stepfather thing that mm -hmm. you're determining the action, you're defining the action based on the end biological consequence, and I'm saying that you choosing to make that the defining trait of the action is you making a prescriptive moral judgment the same way is it, or is the it same not way we the do same effect whether or not it's a good to be a cuck or bad to be a cuck is the is the outcome the same <laughs> and you say and what you're you, saying so okay I just, I just, you, you under, do you understand that no one wants to be a cuck i don't just, i don't understand why we're arguing this you understand no one wants to be a cuck right so so but, but no you're we're is it is it better to be a rapist hands. or a... this is like with who is was it dawkins who's the feminist that said all penetrative sex was rape right yeah one of these no. fucking people. yeah of course it's it's a it's an absurd thing that they're doing because they're trying to label an action as a negative. Yeah. Now they might Consensual make some sort of argument like, rape. well, technically from a biological perspective, it's, it's like, no, 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 no. You know what you're doing. You're using a loaded language to describe a process. You're making a moral weight here, right? So I don't, I mean, we don't have to argue. Everyone here knows, no one wants to be a cuck, right? We don't have to argue this. Uh, once again, if you are a stepdad, you are effectively okay. oh my the same God. He keeps doing it. I guess we're just going in circles. Well, no, we're going we'll in circles move on. Because, because by me even saying, here's the thing, by me even saying that you are effectively taking over the same responsibilities that a cuck would, you're presuming that I'm making a moral call based you on are. me revealing <laughs> that thing. It's the mock thing. Once so again. you think, so if so if someone called you a cuck, you'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm, you're fine with being a cuck? No, I wouldn't be because I don't. I'm not a cuck. I don't. I'm not taking. I'm not taking the responsibility of another man's children. Couldn't yeah, Andrea you, Dorkin call you a rapist because you've had consensual sex with your she wife? She can call me whatever the fuck she wants. I don't care. Does that mean that the effect? But is, is she the, the question though? Is is she making is a she moral right? judgment when she yeah. says well, it, you're she, a rapist? Absolutely, she's making a moral judgment when she does that because she, well, then the, why are you making a moral <laughs> judgment? Oh, am I making a moral judgment by explaining to you that it has the same okay. outcome either way? We need to move on, yeah. Sitch. I think. Yeah. No, I, I know. We're just looping. That's okay. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.